In this video, I'm going to show you how students can attach their own work to a Google Classroom assignment that the teacher sets up. So here I am in Google Classroom. I clicked on the little plus and I started creating my assignment. So I titled the assignment. I titled Gather and Synthesize Assessment. I gave some descriptions or directions in the description area where I said here students will be given the choice of what to show for their learning on this topic. You will show your learning around this standard. So I put in the standard that the students are addressing if this is an assessment or a formative. Then I gave some directions here. When complete, please open this assignment and use the add button to attach your own file from Google Drive, a link from the web, or an attachment like a PDF or other file type. You can also use the create button to create a file as part of the assignment that will be attached to this assignment. So I wanna show what that looks like. So as the teacher, I've set this up. I have not attached any templates or any files for the students to start with. If I did have a rubric for this assessment, I might link that up just so the students could view the rubric and see uh, what they were being assessed specifically on. I'm gonna go ahead and assign this. Let me flip over to the student side of things. So there's the assignment in the classroom. I'm gonna flip windows here. So now I am in the student side of things. I'm gonna refresh so that assignment will appear. And while that's doing that, let me show some other examples I set up here. So let's say the students created a Powtoon. They go to the Powtoon website, they sign in with their Google account, they create a Powtoon video. When that's all said and done, they can copy this link for where their video is located. So I'm gonna copy that as an example. Or maybe they used a tool like Animoto where they created a slideshow to some music, something around whatever it is that you might be assessing. Again, they could copy the link for that finished product. Maybe you gave an assignment where you wanted the students to go out and search out news articles and you want them to turn in links to news articles that they find around something you're studying. Maybe for a business class, we're studying about business growth. And so you have them find different articles about business growth. So I pull up an article as a student here on USA Today, I copy this and maybe I wanna turn that link into my teacher. Here's how that looks in classroom. When a student goes to an assignment, here's the assignment that I posted. The student opens the assignment make this a little bit bigger here. Uh, when the student opens the assignment, and this is this is there for any assignment, this add and this create button, we're, we're very used to since we started using Classroom, just pushing out files to students. Uh, but this add and create button have been here all along. So a student has the choice to add a file from their Google Drive. Maybe they go start a document or a slideshow all on their own. They can choose this and this will let them pick a file from their Google Drive to turn into you. They can also add a link. So if I chose link and I pasted in that Powtoon link, I'll go ahead and add that as an example. That's gonna attach that here to the assignment so the teacher can see it. Also under that add button, there is a choice for a file. So if, they have, if the student had a PDF they created or some other file type that wasn't a Google Drive file type, they could pick file, select that file from their computer to turn in. Likewise, if they use the create button, they can start a document, a slide, a sheet, or a drawing from here. So maybe the students were given the task of just create for me a quick drawing around what your experiment is gonna look like for science class. So they can do that. When you create from this create menu, it automatically names the assignment and puts the student's name on there. And the student can click on that now and go in and work on that file, again, using the turn in button when they're all said and done to turn it into the teacher. One other great use for this, if students are using the iPhone, the Android, or the iPad app, there is a Google Classroom app, there's an extra feature on mobile devices. So the student, if they go into an assignment like this, there's the add attachment button, they can click on that and there's the choice to take a photo. So as, as a teacher, you can assign your students to capture images, maybe it's a math class, capture images um, around certain shapes or certain angles or certain geometric structures that you're studying. Students could take a photo and turn that into you through their mobile device. So all different great ways for how students can attach their own work to a Google Classroom assignment really opens up what students can do. Thanks for watching.